And I'm not going to comment right now on uh, what's the dirt bag that shot the guy with the prop gun? Alec Baldwin. We don't know the details, but... Until we know the details, all I want to say is I know Alec Baldwin was just a nasty, nasty man. He would attack the good families of the NRA that did nothing wrong and blame us when there's a school shooting. So we know he's a liar and his brain is fried and he's just a prick. But you know what we're going to do for the brain fried, nasty, rotten prick? We're going to pray for him until we find out the details of that terrible accident if it was an accident. Because you know, if you point a gun at something and you blow that thing up, it's not an accident, that's negligence. So as big of a prick as Alec Baldwin is, we're actually pl praying for the prick because I know he's hurting. Nobody wants to kill anybody in an unnecessary moment like that. When I did the Miami Vice episode, number two of all times, Number two, right behind the first one. And then they got worse after that. They should have kept me going. Um, I had a prop gun that happened to be the exact replica of the Taurus brushed nickel nine millimeter that I carried at the time. So when I went to perform uh, on Miami Vice back in 84, 85, a little Miss Dangerous time, I made sure I disassembled my Taurus and separated the spring and the slide and the frame and the barrel and, and I separated everything so there was no possibility whatsoever that someone would mistake my real brushed nickel nine millimeter with the prop brushed nickel nine millimeter and even when I shot Don Johnson um, in the shootout I made sure I wasn't pointing it at him I, I cannot point a gun at anything I'm not willing to destroy so I can't wait to find out what happens. But because he's a liberal prick and the media is controlled by liberal pricks and all the so-called justice in America is controlled by liberal pricks, for the most part, only the guilty need to feel guilty because there's some really good judges and good lawyers and good attorney generals out there. I think nine total. Um, but since the so-called court systems of America is basically run by a gang of pricks, they'll probably cover for the Alec prick, and we'll probably never find out what happened.